Near perfect conditions greeted the teams on Championship Sunday for the 2015 ACC Baseball Championship. Record crowds found their way to Durham Bulls Athletic Park to watch fourth seed Florida State battle sixth seed NC State with a title on the line. Florida State played their way into the game by going a perfect 3-0 in pool play and was in search of their sixth ACC Baseball Championship. The Wolfpack, which also swept through pool play with a perfect 3-0 mark, were looking to win their 14th game in the past 16 outings. The atmosphere couldn't have been any better as a record crowd of 9,759 were on hand to watch a battle of two great teams. Defense was the name of the game early as freshman Dylan Busby climbed the ladder to snare this Josh McLean line drive and preserve the scoreless ball game. The game remained scoreless into the bottom of the third when John Sansone ripped a mammoth three-run shot to left field, clearing the blue monster. The blast gave one lucky fan a souvenir and the Seminoles a three-run lead just like that. NC State battled back, scoring two in the top of the fourth, the second run coming on a wild pitch that allowed Bubby Riley to slide home just ahead of the tag, keeping the game close at three to two. Florida State widened the gap at the bottom of the fourth when catcher Danny De La Calle ripped a liner back up the middle, scoring a pair of Seminoles and quickly gave the Knolls their three-run cushion again. Florida State added a little insurance in the bottom of the seventh. Quincy Niporte laced a double to the gap, plating Sansone and pushing the margin to 6-2 to two with only two innings remaining. Seminole pitching did the rest, led by Boomer Bigalski who cruised to the win, his second of the tournament. He struck out five on his way to earning MVP honors. The 6-2 victory gave Mike Martin and the Seminoles six ACC championships, but this one may have been the sweetest of them all, considering the great group of young men that made up this team. I just don't know that I've ever been prouder of a group from Florida State as I am this one, the way that they had their ups and downs, but they continued to fight and scrap and never gave up, didn't point fingers or backstab, and I'm very proud to be a part of this. Anytime you come in here and go 4-0, oh, it just shows you that it's really a team effort. I mean, you know, no one person could get this thing done for our team. It's a team game, and we needed every single one, and that goes from the guys who are on the field and the guys who are on the bench.